the Battle of the Stuna River was fought between the princes of Kiev in Rus, Svitopolk II of Kiev, Vladimir Monomik of Chernigov, and Rostislav V. Sevolodovich of Pereyaslavl against the nomadic Cumans. The Kievan forces were defeated. Background the Cumans raided Rus soon after the death of Isevolod and sought to buy peace with the new great prince, Svetopolk. However Svetopolk incarcerated the Cumans' ambassadors, and the Cumans came in force to attack Kiev. Facing an enemy army of 8,000, Svetopolk took the advice of counsel and called for help from Vladimir Monomik, prince of Chernigov. Vladimir came with his troops and also called upon his only brother, Rostislav of Pereyaslav. Battle. A union of Kievan princes against Cumans was achieved, and Svitopolk released the ambassadors of Cumans. The troops of the three princes joined together and set out for the city of Tripol. Approaching the Stuna River, the princes were undecided, so they stopped to have a council, while the Cumans were across the river facing them. Valdemir, whose wife was a Cuman princess, continued to demand that they sue for peace, but the Kievan troops wanted battle. They crossed the river and met the Cumans in a valley at the rampart of Tripol. Sviatopok deployed on the right, Rostislav in the center, and Vladimir on the left. As the Kievan troops reached the rampart, the Cumans' bowmen attacked Sviatopok's men, and after a bloody engagement his troops broke. Sviatopok attempted to make a stand but the impact of his retreating men carried him back. Then Vladimir's force was attacked and after a fierce confrontation all the Kievan troops were retreating. Sviatopok took cover in Tripol, but Rostislav and Vladimir attempted to swim the Stuna River. Rostislav, in a heavy chain armor, drowned. Vladimir retreated to Chernigov and Sviatopok retreated at night to Kiev. The Kievan Pekursky Paterik ascribed Rostislav's death to his own haughtiness. It is said that he refused to enter the church and pray for the battle's outcome. The young prince's death is also recalled in the tale of Igor's campaign. Not like that is the river Stuna, endowed with a meagre stream, having fed therefore on other rills and runners, she rent between bushes a youth. Prince Rostislav, imprisoning him. On the Dnieper's dark bank Rostislav's mother weeps the youth. Pined away have the flowers with condolement, and the tree has been bent to the ground with sorrow.